Hey everyone. So I was going to be reviewing the McFarlane Superman, and I have him. I have him right next to me. He's an excellent figure, but I'm gonna review him tomorrow. No film Friday. Uh, no, no game day. You're still film Friday. Um, uh, but I wanted to review two figures that I love even more that are from a different series that I haven't really given much review time to. So we're gonna get some review time to him. We're gonna start off with the first figure. I'm gonna be reviewing two. This is a two and one. You'll see it'll be called Star Wars Figure Review or Star Wars Mandalorian Review because these are two Mandalorians. I wanted to review them both. I wanted to do them individually. I'm going to do them in pair. I'm going to do a lot of pair videos. So this is IG-11. First off, he is my least favorite of the two. He is nice, but he is, as you would say, mm, le cool. He, he's just cool. He's good. He's a perfect look of a IG droid, and yeah, the little sweet fall over, I'm so sad, um, is the perfect look and just feel of an IG unit, but what is very bad is that he has such limited articulation, there is articulation here, but it can only go that much, uh, not anymore if you push it even, and then there's a hinge, swivel, hinge, swivel, hinge, swivel, all that kind of stuff in the head, um, Hinge, no outward stuff, simple bend, rotation, hinge, 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 um, you know, I, I like him, he is, le decent, he's de decent, he's not a great, he's definitely not great, uh, there's a lot of problems with him, mainly stemming from the, um, overall just, well, lack of articulation. An IG unit should be uh, pr pretty poseable. Uh, at least that's what I prefer, because of course, seeing him in the movie, he's a TV show, he's very poseable. He twists 360. Can't get 360. But I understand, and they are making an SH Figure Arts version, so hopefully my gripes with this one will be completed with that one. But if it doesn't, I don't care. This is still a great figure. I think he's well worth the price of admission. Um, he's tall. He's very tall. Taller than the Mandalorian. Um, he just feels worth it. Admittedly. And, uh, you know, I love him. I love him. So, on to my more favorite figure, character, whatever you want to call her. Uh, I could not pick up the heavy Mandalorian. Due to it being so goddamn hard to find. But I could find Cara Dune, who I love even more. Just look at this. Amazing. Amazing. It's amazing. An amazing figure with a great amount of articulation and a badass artillery. She comes with a knife, a tiny gun, and a big boy gun, uh, which can go. And I do like the sculpting. The Now, if you don't know who she was, she was a former shock trooper. So this is a shock trooper gun. Nothing big there. And then if you look at him, look. It's just amazing. They got really all of the detail right, the armor, and they even got the face right like I like it. Um, so really, I have no, not many problems with this. Of course, I don't like that Black Series figures only can do 90 degrees, can't do more than that. Uh, but at least they can't do less than that, you know, sometimes be happy. One big thing with mine is that it's ankle right there, so coming a little bad. It's a little bad, so I have that problem. And then, um, the ball joint is nice, though. And, you know, overall, I like it. I like it. It's a good representation of Cara Dune. And this is a great representation of IG-11. Both of them are great in their own rights. Of course, IG-11 is definitely a little easier to find. You can see why. Um, and then Cara Dune, uh, they are, I think they're re-releasing her with some stuff. So, you can, if you missed out on her, you can get her missed out on him, you can get him, because he's kind of common. So, yeah, these guys look fantastic. I can't wait um, to use them in some motions, which I am working on. I know. Star Wars series got delayed due to simple stop motion errors, such as me working so hard on the Watchmen story. Um, that was basically the only stop motion I was working on. Incredible Hulk will be released sometime this weekend, hopefully, hopefully, and then two more Marvel's motions will be following that March, 
expect them the weekend and then the next day. Uh, one of them will be back-to-back -back release, so one and then the other. Um, so, that'll be cool. These guys are fantastic. I hope that you enjoyed this mini-review. I know, it is a lot shorter than most of my other reviews. That's mainly because, uh, a lot of people have talked about them, and I don't think that my, I don't have any kind of gripes with them. Um, I can't wait to review the Superman figure, though, because he is very sturdy. He's very... Very nice. Um, and he's just held up while. And he's amazing. Um, so, I'm trying to push him back because I kind of want him to maybe be the first review in the new room. But, um, who knows? Maybe that will be something else. Alright, see you guys. Make sure to like, like, comment, subscribe. Do the things that you should do with my channel. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Hey, Toaster Boy, you want to see something cool? How about another unboxing? We're gonna do a short little unboxing. This one just came in the mail. I'm super happy about it. I don't want to talk too loudly only because, uh, um, I forgot what I was gonna say. I don't want to talk too loudly only because, you know, it's kind of early. Um, not too early, but still a little early. Um, so I don't want to wake any of mine. People. It's the Severus Snape from Harry Potter Funko Pop. I love it. I love it. Um, yeah, just got it. I'm happy about this. Don't tell anyone you saw. Uh, cause, uh, it's just gonna be cool. <laughs> I'm not telling my, my friends, cause they're a big Severus Snape fan, so I want them to, like, kind of find it. Um, anyway. Thank you again for watching. I have been Rodimus2099. Of course, these are things that you should do to my channel. Like, comment, subscribe. If you aren't subscribed, please subscribe. It really does help me out. Um, it helps me know what I should do. It helps me want to continue this channel even more. Which sometimes I'm like, you know, I don't need to post a video today. If I had a thousand subscribers, I'd be like, I gotta post today. Those thousand people are counting on me. But I still will post videos. I will never stop until uh, YouTube forcibly removes me. Even then, I will upload all my photos, videos to Facebook. Even then, I'll upload all of them to Instagram. Even then, I'll upload them all to a different site, an unclosed site, a site that you little kids shouldn't be on. Anyway, please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I will be moving into my room in a short time. Short time. Uh, definitely a short time. So, anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!